Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about Nevada. I'm sorry, Nevada. I, I can't say it like that. Um, and their primary process in the GOP, maybe a caucus, maybe both, maybe we don't know. Okay, so historically, Nevada used a, a, a caucus system which if you're not familiar with the difference between a primary and a caucus, it, it's real simple. A primary is just like a normal general election, basically, to determine the delegates and who becomes the, the eventual nominee. Okay? A caucus is more like a really disorganized meeting of people who have to show up somewhere in per person, and there's a lot of haggling and deal-making, and they try to basically... Pick the winner there. Okay. Historically, Nevada has used a caucus system. Back in 2021, it switched to a primary system. So there's a vote. The state GOP didn't like that. And they took it to court. The court would not throw out the state-sponsored primary system, but also said that the parties don't have to bind their delegates to the results of the primary, and could, if they so chose, hold a caucus on top of the primary. And that appears to be what the GOP in Nevada is going to do. There has been talk, although it is not confirmed yet, there's been talk about penalizing any potential candidate that participated in the primary during the caucus phase. Yeah, I mean, all of this isn't going to be confusing to voters and disenfranchised people. Um, I don't see how this could go wrong at all. Now, even within the Republican Party, there, there's a lot of uh, discontent about this. In fact, there are some presidential campaigns who are basically considering writing off the state because they feel that the state-level party is loyal to Trump. Um, there, there are signs that that could be true, um, but I haven't actually seen any signs that they're trying to necessarily rig the caucus for Trump. But generally speaking, the loyalty of those people in the state party, it, it does seem very Trump-oriented. Um, now... One of the interesting parts about this is that it goes to something that we have talked about on the channel over and over again about where the Republican Party is going, where it's heart and soul when it comes to those in power and what they really want. They want to rule, not represent. And this is a perfect example of this. There is a primary system. It exists. Votes are going to be cast. But rather than accept that, and accept the will of Republicans in the state, they want to hold a caucus, which is going to be a smaller number of people who are willing to show up in person for this. And those people are going to be able to make the decision. Again, it's not about representing the will of the people. It's about ruling over them. Oh, we understand that this is the candidate you want by the primary numbers, but... Uh, you know, us, those people who have the free time to show up here to this caucus, not the working class, um, you, you know, your betters, we're going to go ahead and pick the candidate for you because you obviously don't know what you want. It is uh, symptomatic of the authoritarian ideology that is just infecting the Republican Party. My guess is that if the primary votes and the caucus results, if those results don't line up, you're going to have a whole lot of people who, uh, who may just decide to sit it out. You're going to have a whole lot of discontent. I feel like there was a point in time when the Democratic Party might have made a similar mistake 
at some point. In fact, I mean, that may, you, you could probably do like dominoes to what's going on right now from that. Um, there is, there is a habit in the Republican Party now of those in the establishment looking at their own constituents, people within the Republican Party, not just Americans as a whole, they've always done that, but people within the Republican Party and saying, yeah, I understand that, you know, you, you say you're a Republican and everything, but you don't know what you want. You're not smart enough to figure that out. We, we, those of us in political power, we get to make the decisions and you better just listen to them. Do what you're told. Certainly appears like that's what's going to end up happening out in Nevada. I don't think that anybody can realistically say that a caucus is more representative of the Republican Party than an actual vote, than a primary. Um, my guess is that this is going to cause a lot of internal feuding within the GOP. But then again, I don't know. It's Nevada. Maybe I'm wrong. Roll the dice. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.